Hello, my friends. My name is Jeremy. I'm going to be reading from the Bible, the Word of God. I'm going to read 1 Samuel 19. Saul tries to kill David. So turn it up, listen up, and focus. This is the Word of God. All right. After Saul spoke to Jonathan, his son, and to all of his servants, that they should kill David, but Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David, Saul, my father, seeks to kill you. Therefore, be on your guard in the morning. Stay in a secret place and hide yourself. And I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where you are, and I will speak to my father about you. And if I learn anything, I will tell you. And Jonathan spoke well of David to Saul, his father, and said to him, Let not the king sin against his servant David, because he has not sinned against you, and because his deeds have brought good to you. For he took his life in his hands, and he struck down the Philistine. And the Lord worked a great salvation for all Israel. You saw it and rejoiced. Why then will you sin against innocent blood by killing David without cause? And Saul listened to the voice of Jonathan. Saul swore, As the Lord lives, he shall not be put to death. And Jonathan called David, and Jonathan reported to him all these things. And Jonathan brought David to Saul, and he was in the presence, his presence as before. And there was war again. And David went out and fought with the Philistines and struck them with his great blow, so that they fled before before him. Then a harmful spirit from the Lord came upon Saul. So he sat in his house with his spear in his hand, and David was playing the lyre. And Saul sought to pin David to the wall with his spear, but he had eluded Saul, so that he struck the spear into the wall, and David fled and escaped that night. 1911. So Saul sent messages to David's house to watch him, that he might kill him in the morning. But Michael, David's wife, told him, If you do not escape with your life tonight, Tomorrow you will be killed. So Michael let David go down through the window, and he fled away and escaped. Michael took an image and laid it on the bed and put a pillow of goat's hair at its head and covered it with clothes. When Saul sent messengers to take David, he said, He is sick. Then Saul sent the messengers to David, saying, Bring him up to me in the bed, that I may kill him. And when the messengers came in, behold, the image was in the bed with a pillow of goat's hair at its head. Saul said to Michael, why have you deceived me thus and let my enemy go so that he has escaped? And Michael answered Saul, He said to me, Let me go. Why should I kill you? Now David fled and escaped, and he came to Samuel at Ramah and told him hmm, that Saul had done to them. And he and Samuel went and lived at Naoah, and it was told Saul before David and Naoah. Then Saul sent messengers to take David, and when they saw the company of the prophets prophesying and Samuel standing as head over them, the Spirit of God came upon the messengers of Saul, and they also prophesied. When it was told Saul, he sent other messengers, and they also prophesied. And Saul sent messengers again a third time, and they also prophesied. Then he himself went to Ramah and came to the great well that was in Seku, and he asked, where are Samuel and David? And one said, Behold, they are in Naoth in Ramah. And he went there to Naoth in Ramah, and the Spirit of God came upon him also. And as he went, he prophesied until he came to Naoth in Ramah. And he too stripped off his clothes, and he too prophesied before Samuel, and lay naked all that day and all that night. Thus it said, It saw also among the prophets. <laughs> that was First Samuel 19. Bring the rain. Very nice. I love the rain. All right. 1 Samuel 19, the Word of God. Stay in the Word of God, guys. God loves you. May peace always be with you. Bye.